Well, parents know all about this. Nothing brings on the anxiety and frustration quite like getting a family ready for a photo shoot. Have you ever experienced this? <laughs> yeah, so from what everyone should wear to location, New Day stylist Darcy Camden to the rescue. Here are five tips for a successful family photo. Everyone wants to look their best. They want to do well and put out like a happy um, image of their family. And um, the, but the truth is behind the scenes, it's really stressful for a lot of people to find like the perfect look or to get everyone to compromise on a color scheme or a theme. Um, so we do have some tips to help everybody get it right this year. Perfect. So your first tip actually is look like yourself. What exactly do you mean like that? Like your everyday self, just what you wear naturally? Yeah. And honestly, this is the most important thing for everybody to remember. Um, don't try to be anybody that you're not. This is not the time to pull something random out of the back of your closet or quickly go buy something that you'll never wear again. Um, if I'm working, styling a family for their photos, I always ask each person individually, what's your favorite outfit? And we use that as a place to start. Everyone wearing something that they really love can ultimately lend itself to a really beautiful picture. Okay, tip two. I think this is really interesting because you said don't grab the obscure item from your closet, but you say grab a signature piece. What do you mean by that? Well, a perfect example is my little boy who's six years old. He loves wearing red shoes and he has these oh. dirty red shoes that he just loves. And in a recent picture, I wanted to put him in a clean new pair of shoes and he lost it. And so the red shoes are in the picture and I look at it now and I'm so glad because that's what he wears and that's ultimately what I want to remember. So everyone will be in a better mood if, if pick your battles. Everyone will be in a better mood if they're wearing something that they really like. And now you have a funny story when you look back at that photo as well. <laughs> oh, we'll How always remember the red shoes. Red shoes have been right. going on for several years. I feel like he's going to be wearing red shoes in his senior picture eventually. Right? Okay. Well, you know, if that's his thing, that's his thing. Okay. So, but red is not typically considered a neutral. And you say that it's good to pick a dominant neutral for the family. Can you explain that? Yes, and if I'm advise, I'm doing a lot of advising to families over email and Zoom and stuff right now. And so I say start by picking a dominant neutral, like ivory, navy, black, or a shade of brown, perhaps. And I find with that minimal, simple, single instruction, ultimately, like it can organically come together beautifully. So if you're wrangling maybe five or six people into a picture, um, say wear one thing of ivory, say, and customize the rest of it, and you'll be surprised at how it all just seamlessly works together from there. Okay, that's actually perfect, though, that you said about the background. That kind of brings us into tip number four, that you want to think about the colors around you in the photo, whether you're in your home or you're outside even. Yes. Well, and think about where the picture is going to be displayed in your home. So a lot of times we're doing a photo, we plan to have it framed, it's going to be front and center in the living room, or it's going to be in a gallery wall. Think about the colors in that room so that when you bring the photo into it, it actually matches and coordinates. You can get a lot of inspiration from your home decor. Those are photos that you like being around. So if your home mm -hmm. has, say, or the room, your living room has, like, navies and maybe cognac brown leather like that would be a good thing to adapt into that your outfit choice and then tip number five uh embrace the imperfections what do you mean by that it's 2020 a lot of us need a haircut <laughs> you know we have a pimple we're carrying in a little extra weight and i know some families are like should we even take a picture this year yes you should take a picture this year for sure. Um, one year, I recall my family, we did, we shot our own family picture in the toilet paper aisle of Target just because we thought it was funny. And that's what we were feeling that year. I look back on it really fondly and think that it was funny and, and cute. Yeah. So do what you can, but uh, document your family in this time. Definitely do it. Okay. I think that's a great idea as well. We got to look back on this and laugh about it a little bit. What if you plan a big family photo with extended family members and you call everyone out, but everybody is mismatched? How can we make it look good? Yeah, this happens. Don't worry about it. So especially if you're the one who organized the picture and everyone's showing up and you're going, ah, nobody matches. This is so random. Do not worry. 
Um, the most important thing is to make sure everybody has a good time so that you get good smiles. Honestly, you can turn the photo black and white and then ta-da, everybody matches. <laughs> Yeah. So what would you give for people who have pets and they want them in the family photo? Bring them in. Bring <laughs> them in. Yeah, I love, I always love bringing in pets or also thinking about maybe a setting that's important to you as well. Um, those are all, whatever the size of your family, I think it's important to, to show what matters the most. And my dogs always make an appearance in my photos. Okay, well, no matter how stylish your mask is, it may be causing your face to break out. Yes, mask me. Well,